Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars, welcome to another PlayStation 4 review. Today's review is for Space Base Startopia. A space station management sim is probably the best way I can describe this game. Now for those of you out there who are fans of management sims, and especially games like Planet Coaster and Two Point Hospital, then this is going to be the sort of game that you're going to enjoy. Now you have uh, some fairly limited options here in regards to playing. There is a multiplayer option if that is your bag, um, but to get into the main game as a single player, there are two options essentially. There is the campaign mode, which essentially is a series of scenarios mainly there to enable you to learn how to play the game. Um, and once you've learned how to play the game by completing all these scenarios, you can then go into the free play mode and build away to your heart's content, which for me is the mode that I've got the most out of here with this game, where you can just let your imagination run wild. Now this film, that's this film, this game um, is similar to Two Point Hospital in many of its ways. It's got a similar humorous approach to telling uh, its story. Not that it has a story, but essentially you've got like uh, robotic AI that communicates to you uh, consistently throughout your scenarios, um, and it add, adds in a layer of humor as well. Now, um, depending on you know your taste in humour, then you're probably um, going to appreciate some of it. I, it. It's light chuckle stuff at times, but it does get a little bit grating, I find. The, I found the humour and the uh, and the narrative as you're going through the game, it did get a little bit on your nerves eventually, I found. but um, So in the campaign mode, you'll go into the game and you'll do these scenarios. Now, the biggest problem I found with this game is the learning curve, the steep learning curve, because while it does claim to have like tutorials, um, and essentially the, the campaign mode it is a tutorial mode really, it teaches you how to play the game. Well, it tells you what you should do, but it doesn't necessarily tell you how to do it. It's one of those tutorials where you know what you should do, but you just takes you forever to figure it out, air the controls, and it's just not very intuitive in regards to uh, helping you learn to play the game. Uh, and you will probably find the first two or three hours quite frustrating, especially if this is a genre that is new to you. If you're a bit of a veteran of these type of genres, and you've played a lot of games like this, like Planet Coaster, Two Point Hospital, uh, or even City Skylines, any, any kind of building game, management game, um, you may well um, take to it a little bit quicker um, but it, it's it's not an easy game to pick up and play I, f I found the first couple of hours to be quite frustrating however once the penny drops once you figure out all the mechanics how to build everything you need to be building then you will figure it out and feel much more comfortable playing the game it's one of those management games that doesn't force you to micromanage but it's there if you want to um, you've got to build you, you've got essentially a, a different decks that you can build on uh, you've got like a main deck where you can build like living spaces for your customers and your customers essentially are all these different alien races that will come to your space station for a number of different reasons some of them come to work some of them come for pleasure um, so you'll build all these things like I say like living spaces uh, recycling centers which is where you make your money factories um, security stations, brigs, communication centres, so on and so forth uh, and you'll put them on your main deck um, and you can open up the bulkheads to expand on that deck which costs in, um, money not real money, there's no microtransactions in this game at all so you can expand it and continue to build um, but also you've got these other decks, you've got like a fun deck, now the fun deck is exactly as it sounds, this is where you build things like the disco, cafes, uh, arcades, uh, like fun fair rides, and a whole array of other things as well. Um, so that's what you will get on your fun deck, uh, there's a whole array of decorative options for you to put on your space station from different floorings to advertisement signs, statues, balloons, um, a whole array of different decorative options for you. And another deck is the biome deck. Um, now the biome deck you can terraform it if you want, you can change the terrain, you can add water, this sort of stuff. Um, and there's other 
um, sections of that for you to unlock as well but essentially the biome deck is where plant life will grow that you can ha then harvest that will give you essential resources for your space station uh, like fibers, food, medical supplies, so on and so forth plastics and things um, now you're going to need as well to research new things um, now in the campaign mode it kind of teaches you different sections it teaches you how to get rid of the garbage and how to make money from recycling it teaches you like the security how to keep the base safe from terrorists that might drop bombs onto the base or um, people that try and invade the base because yes there is some light combat here uh, so you'll need to build like these security stations and then you can build like these giant mechs that will defend your base from like anybody that tries to attack you um, so you've got all this stuff that's going on in the game that manages to keep you busy at all times so there's another there's other elements as well I mean you don't just have customers on your starbase you've got as well um, people that you can employ everything for the most part will need employees from your recycling center um, to your medical bay you're definitely going to need a medical medical bay because people will turn up at your space base with uh, all manner of diseases and if they're not treated fairly quickly it will spread throughout your base um, really quite quick um, so you're going to have to employ people to work at all sections in the biodome, on the fun deck um, and on the main deck to keep the economics of your base going um, and you can go in and you can micromanage them people you can promote them as and when they've earned promotions things like that if they're not happy they'll quit the job um, there's like an in-game store uh, and again this is this is all from money that you earn in the game where you can buy little buffs as well you can uh, at cheaper prices you know uh, a little bombs you can set off that will cure diseases immediately so they don't even need to go into the medical center things that will in, uh, improve the oxygen supplies in the base things like that um, so you've, you've got to manage everything here um, and once you figure it out and everything um, you, you're kind of laughing with this game it's quite easy to figure it out I, I personally think once you get over the first two or three hours of this game um, it's fairly easy to use but newcomers to this game I think are going to find it particularly hard to get to grips with because I do think the tutorial is really quite poor I'm actually considering doing a beginner's guide that might help newcomers um, I think the game looks quite nice it's got this really nice cartoon aesthetic to it um, because the space station is like a cylinder space station it, it's like it's like walking around a donut in your base it's got this real nice um, funny way of moving around the base it makes it quite unique I really like it the only trouble is it, it looks too busy sometimes and too colorful when you when you're filling it up um, with all these weird and wonderful alien races and all these colorful things that you're building in there when it gets really really busy there's so many colors going off it can look a little bit messy I think the game at times you can zoom in you can zoom out do all those sort of things so you can see the inner detail of everything um, see them all using the equipment in the base it's it's quite a pretty game but like I say quite messy at times as well with all the colors going off not had any crashes not had any problems with the game it runs quite smooth a couple of audio issues here and there a couple of glitches in the audio but nothing much and like I say the humor in the game will be for some people and not for others it really just depend on your sense of humor so it's a game I'm enjoyed um, for those of you out there that and I've mentioned it if you like Planet Coaster 2 Point Hospital and games like that you're probably gonna find something to enjoy I think the games a little bit overpriced at 44.99 for the base game um, I would have liked to have seen maybe this at around 29.99 I think it's certainly worth m probably more around that price line so for those of you really interested it might be worth considering waiting for a sale but if you're really looking for a really good uh, management game to play you know you could do far worse than this one I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 I just think it, it's just below the quality of something like Planet Coaster or Two Point Hospital it's not just as good as those but it's not a million miles away and you're gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of this game I certainly have put many quite a few hours into this and I will continue to put more so I hope you find this review useful and thank you very much for watching.